Any Christian woman who has read thus far, I now beg to reflect on what I am going to put before her. Lazarus had to die again, and thanked God, we may be sure, for the glad fact. Did his sisters, supposing them again left behind in the world, make the same lamentations over him as the former time he went? if they did if they fell again into that passion of grief lamenting and moaning and refusing to be comforted what would you say of them i imagine something to this effect it was most unworthy of them to be no better for such a favour shown them it was to behave like the naughtiest of faithless children did they not know that he was not lost that he was with the master who himself seemed lost for a few days but came again he was no more lost now than the time he went before could they not trust that he who brought him back once would take care they should have him for ever at last would you not speak after some such fashion would you not remember that he who is the shepherd of the sheep will see that the sheep that love one another shall have their own again in whatever different pastures they may feed for a time would it not be hard to persuade you that they ever did so behave they must have felt that he was but gone for a minute from this room into the next and that however they might miss him it would be a shame not to be patient when they knew there was nothing to fear it was all right with him and would soon be all right with them also yes i imagine you saying that is just how they would feel then i return why are you so miserable or why is it but the cold frost of use and forgetting that makes you less miserable than you were a year ago? Ah, oh, you answer, but I had no such miracle wrought for me. Ah, oh, if I had such a miracle wrought for me, you should see then. You mean that if your husband, your son, your father, your brother, your lover, had been taken from you once and given to you again, you would not, when the time came that he must go once more, dream of calling him a second time from the good heaven? You would not be cruel enough for that? You would not bemoan or lament? You would not make the heart of the Lord sad with your hopeless tears? Ah, how little you know of yourself do you not see that so far as truth and reason are concerned you are now in precisely the position supposed the position of those sisters after lazarus was taken from them the second time you know now all they knew then they had no more of a revelation by the recall of lazarus than you have for you profess to believe the story though you make that doubtful enough by your disregard of the very soul of it is it possible that so far as you are concerned lazarus might as well not have risen what difference is there between your position now and theirs lazarus was with god and they knew he had gone come back and gone again you know that he went came and went again your friend is gone as lazarus went twice and you behave as if you knew nothing of lazarus you make a lamentable ado, vexing Jesus that you will not be reasonable and trust his father. When Martha and Mary behaved as you are doing, they had not had Lazarus raised. You have had Lazarus raised, yet you go on as they did then. You give too good reason to think that, if the same thing were done for you, you would say that he was only in a catalytic fit, and in truth was never raised from the dead. Or is there another way of understanding your behavior? You do not believe that God is unchangeable, but think he acts one way one time and another way another time just from caprice. He might give back a brother to sisters who were favorites with him, but no such gift is to be counted upon. Why then, I ask, do you worship such a God? But you know that he does not do it. That was a mere exceptional case. If it was, it is worthless indeed, as worthless as your behavior would make it. But you are dull of heart, as were Martha and Mary. Do you not see that he is continually restoring as taking away? That every bereavement is a restoration? That when you are weeping with void arms, others who love as well as you are clasping in ecstasy of reunion? Alas, we know nothing about that. If you have learned no more, I must leave you, having no ground in you upon which my words may fall. You deceive me. 
You called yourself a Christian. You cannot have been doing the will of the Father, or you would not be as you are. Ah, you little know my loss. Indeed, it is great. It seems to include God. If you knew what he knows about death, you would clap your listless hands. But why should I seek in vain to comfort you? You must be made miserable, that you may wake from your sleep to know that you need God. If you do not find him, endless life with the living whom you bemoan would become and remain to you unendurable. The knowledge of your own heart will teach you this. Not the knowledge you have, but the knowledge that is on its way to you through suffering. Then you will feel that existence itself is the prime of evils without the righteousness which is of God by faith. 